Hey guys, this is Butterfly, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bucket server for Minecraft 1.7.2 and 1.7.4. So we're just going to get started. So what you're going to want to do is type in www.bucket.org. So that's the website that you're going to be going on. So once it loads, you're going to want to click the last thread by Evil Seth. Um, and so yeah, you just click this craft bucket. 1.7.2 RO2 is now available. I'm gonna want to scroll down just a bit to the end of the forum or thread, um, and so that's gonna try to download it. And so if you have Chrome it'll say do you want to keep or discard, you want to hit keep. So that's gonna be downloading. So what you can do is go back to the home th uh, home page of Bucket. Okay, and uh, we're just gonna wait until this is done loading, which shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it's done downloading, so I'm just going to put this to the side for now. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go onto your desktop, right click, hit new, and then folder. So I'm just going to um, call this tutorial server. Okay, and then you're going to want to drag the craft bucket 1.7.2 RO2 into here. Um, and so for me, it's with brackets too, but it should look like this. <laughs> There's ads. Okay, so what you're going to want to do next is right click in the folder, hit new, and then text document. So you're going to want to open up that text document. I'm just going to close this. And we'll bring this over here. So you're going to want to hit the tab of Git Craft Bucket. You're going to want to scroll down until it says Windows. Um, you're going to want to control or just copy it. So either control C or right click on it and hit copy. Um, so I'm just going to hit control C. Then you paste it into this text document. And if you're Linux, it's down here. And Mac, it's right here. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do is file, save as. You're going to want to hit um, all files. And then type in run.bat. So that's what it's going to save as. Okay, so now in here, you got this text document. So you can just delete that and keep the run. Okay, so you're going to want to double click this. Okay, so it'll say this. So what you need to do is right click on craft bucket, on the craft bucket thing, and so just type in craft bucket instead of the whole craft bucket 1.7.2, blah, blah, blah. So then you double click run again, and um, if there is a, another error, this is working, so this is what it's going to look like. Um, so if there is an error, then I'll probably make another video for that and how to fix it. Um, because if you didn't like do a bunch of program files for Java and stuff like that, it probably won't work. Um, so I'll do another tutorial and I'll probably try to link it in the description. But it won't be out until this is out. So Okay, so it's all done loading uh, the world. So it says done. You can type in stop. Okay, so then it's going to hit, uh, it's going to say press any key to continue, so just click a random button. Okay, so it loaded all these. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go into this ops folder and type in your Minecraft username. So mine is Budfly. So then save and exit out. So now you're opt on your server. This is your world, this is your nether, and this is your end. Um, so then you're going to want to go to server properties. So you're going to want to do um, open and then select a program of a list of installed programs. Just go in notepad. Um, and so there's a bunch of settings here. So what you're going to want to do is really just skip uh, the first three, four, five, six, seven um, until server port. Now this is for port forwarding if you need to. Um, I'll do a separate video for that or just link you to a guy that did a port forwarding for a Minecraft server. Um, but port forwarding is so that your server can be joined from all around the world instead of just your uh, Wi-Fi. So 
Yeah. Anyways, uh, next level type is default. So that means like as any world, but you can put it as super flat if you want it super flat, <laughs> just like in single player. But I'm gonna keep it default. Okay. So for us game mode, uh, false whitelist. So this means if you want it so that only a certain amount of people can come on. If you do enable that, so you would just type in true here instead of false. You go into this whitelist and then type in every single username. So like say Budfly, Fluttershy, H, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's what whitelist does. Um, now if you come into here, you'll see your server IP. So what you're going to want to do is come on this, type in CMD, IP config. Okay, and then so you're going to look for your IPv4 address. So mine is 192.168.1.148. So I'm just going to type in 192.168.1. <laughs> I need to check again. Um, IP config. Okay, 148. Okay, so um, spawn animals, you can put, uh, it, I would just leave it at true. Resource pack. So if you have any resource packs, so if you go percent at data percent dot minecraft and then resource packs. So you see how this is like um, budcraft texture pack and then uh, so what you're going to want to type is that. So I'm just going to do this for this example. Um, so I'll type in budcraft, and then there's a space in the file name, texture pack, and then dot .zip, because it's a zip file. And uh, that's for custom texture packs, and I'll show you what that does once I log into this. Uh, PvP, so you can turn PvP off so you can't hit anyone else, or like there's nobody can hit nobody, but you can still kill mobs and stuff like that. Difficulty, okay, so one is easy, um, and zero is peaceful, two is medium, and three is hard. Enable command block. You should turn that to true just in case you want to use command blocks. Only ops can use it. Game mode, so whoever joins will have the game mode of whatever. So zero is survival, one is event, no, one is creative, and then two is adventure. Um, player idle timeout, so that means if people are AFK and not moving for a while, um, it will kick them. So this, I think, is in seconds. It might be minutes. But uh, yeah, so anyways, next is max players. So this can actually lag the server a lot if you have it extreme. So like if I go 999, um, I think that'll only show as one, though. And so you can have like 20 out of one if you were going through your server list. But max players, I'm going to put 10 for now. Um, spawn monsters, true or false, up to you. Generate structures, so like villagers, um, I mean villages, strongholds, such and such. View distance, I wouldn't mess with that because it can cause major lag. MOTD. So this is pretty much the description of your server underneath, uh, like, what it says. Um, okay, that's just nothing. So I'm going to type in um, YouTube tutorial video. Okay, and so that's pretty much all the properties. So you hit X and then save. So it's all saved. So once we come into here, yeah, it's all saved. Um, okay, so next, uh, band players. So um, I'll just show you how to ban people from here if you aren't online or you don't have the console with you. Okay, so victim names. So say I want to ban um, blue cloak seven two two seven, and then you're gonna want to do space ban date. So uh, today is one dash twenty one dash twenty fourteen. You could see because it's in the corner of my computer right here. Um, ban by budfly. Ban until one dash twenty one dash twenty fifteen. Reason yolo. <laughs> um, Alan Banner. 
is probably not even going to come on the server. Um, but anyways, so then into plugins. Oh, wait, no, I want to show you something first. Okay, so log will show you everything that happened in the server. So if someone's like saying something and people are saying that they were swearing or whatever, you can check to see if it was actually proof. Um, so, yep. Next is plugins. So plugins is the coolest thing about Bucket, in my opinion. So you're going to want to go back to bucket.org. You're going to want to go to Git Plugins. Then you can type in any plugin. So say I want Mob Arena. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, this is the one. So download. And then download again. Keep, since it's a jar file. It will ask you to keep or discard. Um, and then you're just gonna gonna drag that in, um, okay. And then let's see if there's factions. Let's see if this is. Um, I don't think this is the real factions. Um, yeah, so that's not the one that I want, so I'll just go back, and let's see, essentials, um, so I think I'm going to want to go to, huh, Yeah, maybe this one. We'll try this one out. Multiplayer thing. Can we redesign post ideas? Slut. Okay, so workbench, feed, heal, strike, burn, achieve. Oh, okay, cool. This spawns a charge creeper. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get it. So download, download. And then this comes in a zip file. So this is good for an example of what happens when it comes in a zip file. So you're just going to want to click on it, and this will pretty much just show uh, these three files, so you can drag them all in, because that's what the plugin comes with, all three. Um, and then what we can go... One more, okay. Group manager. Actually, no. Prison. Okay, let's see what this is like. Prison. Okay, yeah, let's get this. So download, download, keep. So this is a, a uh, jar file. Okay, so just drag that in. Okay, so now it's the big test. So if we run, we can close that. We can close that. Okay, so we're just going to start up this. Hit play. And uh, so the server's all done, by the way, like all done loading because it says done. So multiplayer. To join your own server, you can just type in local host. Or not. Um, so the IP is 192.168.1.148.25565. So we can just refresh that. Okay, look, see, it says YouTube tutorial video. Um, you can also put in a picture. Um, so all you need to do is find a picture file and then just drag it in to the thing. Okay, so this server recommends the use of a custom resource pack. Would you down? like to download and install it automatically. <laughs> um, so you can hit yes if you want the texture pack. I already have the texture pack on. It's something that I've been working on for quite a bit. Um, okay, so let's see, slash help. And there's the stuff. Let's see if I'm opt, because we went to that. Yep, okay, there we go. So we are opt, 
um, 10 slots, as you can see, 1.7.2, 1.7.4, um, slash plugins. So there's all the plugins. So this is just, um, that's the one that came with three. There's a file, mob arena, and prison. So slash um, prism, let's just check this out. Um, yeah, so anyways, this works, mob arena, we can do this, so ma help. And so there's a bunch of commands if you want to make some mob arenas. But anyways, um, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching, and this is Butterfly. Bye.